Some brain injury advocates are calling on New York state lawmakers to increase funding for what they call a continuum of care plan. Our New York Capitol Bureau reporter Elise Klein talked to lawmakers and physicians about the issue. In 2020, Kara Moran tested positive for COVID-19. She was later diagnosed with encephalitis, an inflammatory brain injury that can be caused by viral infections, making this Moran's third brain injury in her lifetime. She says her symptoms from the encephalitis made it hard for her to find long-term care resources. She says she would sometimes cry from frustration, not being able to remember from five seconds to the next. I was lost. I, did, I was just so out of, the, out of the world, and I wasn't used to doing it, um, and especially with a brain injury, you can't do it. Moran, along with other advocates, are calling on lawmakers to fund continuum of care for brain injury survivors. She says survivors need the funding to expand information and resources. Some lawmakers are hopeful this funding will pass through the state budget. They are also taking policy steps to address the management of brain injuries. Senator Brad Hoyleman Siegel sponsors a bill recently introduced in the Senate intending to update concussion management and response protocols in schools. The bill also intends to increase concussion data collection and reporting. In some cases, this legislation is a matter of life or death or potentially long-term disability for some very young folks who are extremely vulnerable, whose brains are just developing. We need to do everything as government, as parents, as school officials to make sure they're safeguarded. Some sports medicine physicians say concussions can be very challenging to deal with and requires a team effort. I really do think it's important um, for what this bill is trying to accomplish because ultimately we, we don't want to see bad things happen to these kids, both in the short and in the long term. In Albany, Elise Klein, Erie News Now.